Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna break the laws of physics again, and you're probably asking what's Alex going to do to completely destroy my understanding of reality. Well, I'll tell you now. Remember when we found this bug? Well, somehow it's still not fixed. And on that video someone by the name Cacpair commented this. I did the same thing. And my PS26 got launched 17,000 meters 55800F above the ground. So I commented how. And then he replied. I don't know, just luck. So this means it could be possible to absolutely destroy TFS physics. Like it had any to begin with. So I started thinking. And after a brief moment I came up with this. Step 1 grab plane. Step 2 drag it over to the fuel truck. Step 3 Refuel the seaplane. Step 4 Fly really high. Step 5 Wait. Step 6 Try and move out of the way as the plane is coming toward us. So, with that done, let's begin our time lapse. It was looking like this wouldn't work, until this happened. It started to fly up like a rocket. Just look at this insane height of this throw. Wait how the hell did it just survive that? Anyway don't matter. Now this was a success but I wasn't satisfied with this throw. I wanted to know how high it went so I tried again. Then this happened after a couple more tries. Like last time it flew high into the sky. I unfortunately panicked and couldn't get the highest altitude the PS26 went. But still this is very cool. Well, the part when I said I wasn't able to know the highest point the seaplane went, was a lie, I calculated the estimated altitude that the seaplane went, and that is... Now 1,350 feet is way off 55,000 feet but still just the fact that this works is a major achievement. Cacpay wasn't lying and with a few improvements I can see myself go just as high as he said. Anyway thanks for watching and this has been Alex W. Bye. Wait, before you leave, remember to subscribe to my two other YouTube channels, Quizzical and Alex T, for more interesting, possibly, content. Link will be in the description.